Hi, I'm Mario Mendes, and this is Just Listen, dedicated to good music. I will say this right at the start. I could talk about Keith Jarrett and his trio for hours, just as much as I can listen to their music. For over 30 years, Keith Jarrett has been my favorite musician, so I cannot be objective when I'm talking about him. So, a reason enough to stop watching and click on something else. But I promise I'll do my best to keep you interested. The music you heard earlier is the very beginning of the first track on the album Tribute, issued in 1990 by German ECM label well known to jazz fans for and audiophiles for great taste in music and pristine sound quality. On this album, Keith Jarrett has picked his 10 most important jazz influences, and they are Lee Konitz, Jim Hall, Nancy Wilson, Bill Evans, Charlie Parker, Coleman Hawkins, Miles Davis, Anita O'Day, Sonny Rollins, and John Coltrane. Now, the compositions Jared has chosen as a tribute to particular artists do not always seem logical, as they are not usually associated with that particular instrument or artist. But that was certainly done for purpose, for reinventing those compositions in a different way, in a different light. That first uh, track, Lover Man, is 13 minutes of joy to listen. It's dedicated to Lee Konitz. Here's a short part where all three musicians are contributing equally to the feeling portrayed. Recording was made live in Kern Philharmonie in Kern, in Germany, in October 1989. Music is fluid from one track to the next, like a river of emotions. Slower, more quiet tracks are of marvelous beauty. You can feel Jared's admiration of the artist to which tunes are dedicated to. The well-known Polish jazz pianist Marcin Wasilewski, in an interview for Jazz Vice magazine, said that tribute changed his life. He bought the album on vinyl while visiting his father who lived in Kelm. So as a coincidence, the same town where Tribute was recorded. Vasilevsky goes on with the admiration for the album, admitting to listening it non-stop after getting back home. He also got Kid Jerry Trio DVD of the Tokyo concert, saying that he watched it every day for a year and a half. Just in Time is the first track on the second CD of this double album, and it is dedicated to Charlie Parker. I have chosen the beginning of the track for a short listen, as all three of them, Jared Peacock and Dejonet, start together in perfect harmony. Stereophile magazine listed it as a record of the month in August 1991. In 1995, Keith Jarrett was diagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome, which made him unable to play piano. This lasted for three years, when he recorded at home Melody at Night with you, dedicated to his wife as a Christmas present. The album was released next year. Unfortunately, in October 2020, New York Times article brought more sour news about K. Jarrett. After suffering two strokes, his left side was left paralyzed. It is highly unlikely that he will ever perform again. Here is what he said at the end of this article about this new reality for him. I can only play with my right hand, and it's not convincing me anymore. I even have dreams where I am as messed up as I really am. So I found myself trying to play in my dreams, but it's just like real life. We wish Kid Jarrett all the best and all the help he can get. My personal favorite track, though it doesn't excel compared to the rest of this exquisite album, is All the Things You Are, played quite differently than the version on Standards One album. It's a Sony Rollins tribute.
This live recording is pleasant without watery piano tone that plucks some of Jared's older recordings. Kid Jared began piano lessons before his third birthday and gave his first piano recital at the age of seven. In 2008, he was inducted into the Downbeat Jazz Hall of Fame. On tribute, like on other trio recordings, the interplay of Jared Peacock and Dejonet shows so much respect and support for one another that it effortlessly builds these fragile and perfect melodies. Here is a dedication to John Coltrane in form of composition It's Easy to Remember, made famous by Coltrane on album Ballads. I can't say how many times I have listened to this album, but I'm sure it has over 100 plays over the years. Hope that's enough of his recommendation. For further insight into music of Keith Jarrett, besides numerous excellent albums, you can also watch a documentary, Keith Jarrett, The Art of Improvisation, which is available on YouTube. For a little insight into workings of Keith Jarrett trio, here's a short Keith Jarrett view. The principle in this trio has been the same from 1983 to 30 years later. It's been exactly the same. It's the side men that have the freedom. The leader is always the leader. I wanted to be my own side man too. I thought, okay, I have these two wonderful players. They're gonna know how to, they're gonna know what to do. What if we just start playing? And the only way to do that would be either totally free playing or music we already know. There is an amazing amount of music that was never played. What, you, what I'm seeking is that. This, this music that's in the air that is ready to be played at all times, you know, that's why I show up at a concert. I hope this will entice you enough to have a listen to this great album. A uh, link to Songvip below will take you directly to this album on major streaming services. Thank you for watching.